Bill O'Reilly, in his factor tip of the day last night, showed himself to be just as out of touch as we all thought he was. So listen to the amount of money that he thinks you're able to save and the amount of money that you should save. You should have at least $25,000 that you can access if you get fired or if a disaster hits you or your family. 25 k So, how do you do that? First of all, never waste money, ever. That trinket, you don't need it. Then, take a look at your life. See what your vices are. See what you overdo and cut back. Then, go to websites like Groupon, get discounts on stuff that you have to buy. Never, never pay full price. Also, every time you have loose change in your pocket, put it in a big jar. That'll add up fast. Pay your cable bill someday. But most important is what my father drummed into my head. Out of every dollar you make, save 10 cents. No excuses. If you do that, you'll build protection. Factor tip of the day. I don't want to be too much of a dick here because I honestly believe in super conservative spending when it comes to your personal finances. But Bill, you make about $20 million a year and you just told your listeners to save $25,000 by cutting vices and keeping pocket change. No, we're not all capable of doing that. Should we all have $25,000 saved? Sure, we should all have $100,000 saved, but we don't make enough money to be able to do that. And I also genuinely think that his original number was higher, and then he eventually whittled it down. I'm convinced of that. I'm convinced he was going to say $50,000 or $100,000, and then one of his producers was like, mm, Bill, mm, uh, don't say that. You're going to look super out of touch. But he still looks out of touch, even with the 25,000 number. So let me give you some facts here to explain where I'm coming from. 26% of Americans have no money saved. None. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. 26%. Now, it actually gets worse than that. 76% of the American people, according to Bankrate.com, 76% say they're living paycheck to paycheck. 76%. That's amazing. Now, they don't define it, so that might mean, I don't know, they have a thousand bucks in the bank for whatever th reason, for emergencies or something, but that's still paycheck to paycheck, right? And that number is overwhelming. Also, according to Gallup, saving is most popular among low-income adults. So this mindset that Bill O'Reilly has, like it's poor people who are just squandering all their cash and that's why they're poor, that's also factually not true. In fact, it's the opposite. If anything, poor people are really penny-pinching and they're doing the right thing and the people who are spending like drunken sailors, more often than not, are rich people. And I haven't even brought up the fact that uh, over 10 million people in America are members of the working poor class so they can work oftentimes a full-time job and not make enough money to survive. The minimum wage in this country is not a living wage. Quote, on average, each household with a credit card carries more than $15,000 in credit card debt. Total U.S. consumer debt is at $11.4 trillion. So that includes mortgages, auto loans, credit cards, and student loans. So here's the conclusion, man. Maybe the problem isn't just individual spending habits. And again, I want to reiterate, man, I'm in favor of people being incredibly frugal on a personal level, or I'm incredibly frugal on a personal level, right? So I'm in favor of that. But the idea that you can just nonchalantly be like, yeah, you should have $25,000 stacked away. But you don't know how much they're making. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what their expenses are. You don't know if they're probably already doing that, and they still aren't able to keep away $25,000. But that's the point, man. The problem isn't just individual spending habits. It's also the economy and systemic problems. And, I mean, let's face it, in the United States of America, our economy is top-heavy. And there's a flat-out war on the middle class and the poor. They are being squeezed for every last penny. Unionization is at an all-time low. Again, the minimum wage is less than a living wage. There's been massive deregulation. The tax code is rigged in favor of the rich and against the little guy. I mean, if you make money 
from your money making money, like Mitt Romney in the stock market, you pay 15% in taxes. You can make $20 million and pay 15%. Meanwhile, if you make $70,000 a year, you can pay 23% in taxes. How does that make sense? That's regressive. See, that's the problem. There are systemic issues that Bill O'Reilly loves to ignore. But what he'll do is, in his little bubble, he'll go out there and just command unilaterally, you should have $25,000 saved. And I know you can do it because I make $20 million a year, so you should be able to get $25,000 saved. Well, we can't all really do that. Our jobs don't pay us all that much. And final thing, did you really say the word trinket? Trinket. Leave it to Bill O'Reilly to find a way to sound like a pirate from the year 1372.